Melbourne on the Yarra. The capital of Victoria and Australia's second biggest city, Melbourne is in festive mood for the Olympic Games. The main stadium is the mecca for constant streams of traffic during the two weeks of the Games, and cars fill the city's broad thoroughfares. Every day during the Games, upwards of 100,000 fortunate people are packed into the stadium. The flags of the nations bear testimony to the Olympic spirit of goodwill. And on the waters of Port Phillip Bay, Olympic yachts make a colourful scene that attracts not only Olympic visitors, but a multitude of Vic Melbourne residents. The city's most distinguished guest for this once-in-a-lifetime event is His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, who has already proclaimed the opening of the Games and now delights the crowds with his cheerful informality. During the Games, Melbourne also stages the car race event of the year, the Australian Grand Prix. Sterling Moss and Peter Whitehead are two of the many prominent overseas drivers starting in the event. Melbourne's beautiful Grand Prix circuit, Sterling Moss streaks home to collect another of the world's racing trophies. A few weeks later, many of the same drivers are on hand to compete for the New Zealand Motor Cup at the 4th New Zealand International Grand Prix meeting, an annual fixture of motor racing down under that's attracting many of the world's top drivers. Early in the day, the cars are at the pits, busy with final preparations and checks. On the right is Ron Roycroft, New Zealand's champion driver. In his new V12 Ferrari, Ron will be one local contender. As the sports car championship gets underway, two Auckland cameramen shooting black and white film get the scoop of the day covering this early race. Here in black and white is what they saw through their news cameras. Cars speeding round the track, then... Wildly out of control, Ken Wharton's Monza Ferrari hurtles 14 feet in the air, spins three times and ends a twisted wreck. Ambulance men assist the badly injured driver. This is the first accident suffered by the New Zealand Grand Prix and their emergency squad goes quickly into action. White flag for the ambulance. The 1800 weight car, badly mangled, is removed from the track. Ken Wharton, one of Britain's best drivers, is critically injured. He's rushed to hospital and the crowd is silent. As the drivers for the Grand Prix assemble at the start and wish each other good luck, news comes that Ken Wharton has died of injuries. His Grand Prix Maserati will not race today. The Mayor of Auckland, Mr Ashby, is introduced to the drivers. Arnold Stafford, who will be driving a Cooper. Australia's Jack Brabham, driving a Maserati. On the grid, the cars are push started. A final check. Bill Lee and Sid Jensen check oil pressure. 24 high-powered speedsters are ready for the big race. Starter Charlie Allen sends them away, and motors roar as the field crowd down near the pit straight to College Corner. Going into an early lead is number 19, Ron Roycroft, and through the early laps he holds his advantage. Down the back straight, Roycroft is really sizzling. From the back straight and into the cloverleaf. Rolly Crowther is driving the conspicuously coloured Lotus, but Stan Jones scorches past him. The 
the fifth straight, and Roycroft is still holding his position. But as the laps go by, New Zealand's best hope, Ron Roycroft, starts feeling the effects of exhaustion, which will eventually make him drop out of the race. Australian Jones in his Maserati passes Yendl's driving Roycroft's Bugatti as they go along the back straight and up to the hairpin. Peter Whitehead sharing lap leads with Reg Parnell. Ronnie Moore takes his Kumax out again after a pit stop. Into the clover leaf. Down the back, then out of the clover leaf comes Peter Whitehead, screaming up the pit straight towards College Corner. mount up, the race develops into a seesawing duel between Whitehead and Reg Parnell. At the bend, Alex Stringer, 31, driving Warden's Formula 2 Cooper, followed by Bob Gibbons in his D-type Jaguar. Then down the pit straight for the last time, and it's Britain's Reg Parnell in the lead. Yes, Parnell wins, and only a few seconds behind him, Peter Whitehead with Stan Jones third and New Zealander R. Jensen fourth. For veteran Reg Parnell, his success is a fitting climax to a great career in motor racing. In his last big race, he sets the seal on his success by his victory over the redoubtable Peter Whitehead. Garlanded with the victor's laurels, Reg Parnell happily says goodbye to further active motor racing as winner of the 1957 New Zealand Grand Prix.